Welcome back to another video and today I'm answering a question that I know a lot of you ladies really want to know the answer to and I hope the camera is in focus right now and I hope the sound is working because I really need y'all to hear this. I'm about to answer a question that you, I know you want the answer to. And you really ought to really pay attention to how long this video is about to be because you're getting this straight from one of the horses now. As a man, I'm going to tell you how to get your man to be in a relationship with you, to propose, to marry you, all of that. All in one video, all wrapped up in one video. Tell you how to get your man to, to, to lock it on down. The answer is... You can't. You, 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 you can't. There is nothing that you can do as a woman to get your man to be with you. And I'm sorry. That ain't the answer that some of y'all wanted to hear. And it's an answer some of y'all already knew. But you needed to hear it again. There is nothing that you can do. The main thing that you need to be focused on, or the main thing that you need to pay attention to rather is commitment. That is the key to all of that stuff. If you are with a man who has commitment issues or who just doesn't want a commitment at all, you are wasting your time. You're wasting your time holding out hope that he's gonna come around or that you can change him. Cause trust me, there's nothing special about what's between your legs that's gonna make a man change. Trust me, cause it, in case you didn't know, there's like billions and billions of other ones that kind of work the same way as the one that you got. Just saying. That's not going to be the thing that's going to make him commit. Trust me. And, and as I've heard, if, if what you got is that special, you need to bottle it up and sell it. But there's nothing that you can do but to require of him a commitment. And with commitment comes from him the, the want or the need to be in a relationship and or the want and need to propose and marry you. Men, men are not going to do that unless they really want to. It's really it's that simple. For me, I'm a different type of guy. I've always liked being in a committed relationship. I've always liked being in a monogamous relationship. I've never been um, messing with two different girls at the same time. There have been times when I've maybe dated, but it was strictly dating. There was no sex. There was no kissing there was none of that other stuff it was literally just a dating period of getting to know different females y'all are settling for guys who are, who are doing everything under the sun calling it dating and you're okay with that you need to require a commitment from him and in order to require a commitment from him you have to figure out what am i offering him up right now what am i giving him that's going to make him want to come back if it, it, it's, and it's so cliche. Everything I'm saying now you should already know. Why buy, why buy the cow if you can get the milk for free? And that's so true. If you're giving a man everything he wants from you, nine times out of ten, he's not going to try to lock you down because he's already getting what he wants. Y'all have to realize that y'all really do have the power to make the things that you want to make happen. Because if you start cutting it off, and we all know what it is, let's be adults. If you start cutting it off, one or two things are going to happen. He gonna leave or he gonna commit. It's as simple as that. But it kind of shouldn't be a situation where you get him to commit and then once you start giving it up or start giving it back up, you start seeing a change. If you start seeing a change, that, that's called a red flag and you need to go ahead and address that either in the relationship or go find out or go find out you know what's the issue there. I really need to make this video because some women really think that there's stuff that they can do to change the man that they're with. And there's not. Your coochie is not going to make a man stay. It is not. It is. It is not. It is not going to make him stay. There's nothing you can do as a woman, as a girl to commit. And if there are, if there are young girls watching this, I'm going to say this to you. Don't try to force a guy to be your boyfriend. If he doesn't want to be your boyfriend, leave it alone, forget about him, move on. Don't go chasing after somebody, period. Don't go chasing after no dude. You let him come to you. And if he's not coming to you, then there's a reason for that. And it's best to just accept the reason for him not coming to you. There's nothing you can do, and I, and I can't say that enough. There's nothing 
nothing. I've seen girls stress about why that man is out doing this, this, and that. If you know your man is out cheating and sleeping with every Sally Sue and Polly, why, why settle for that? You do not know how stupid you look to, to knowingly be with a man who's cheating. And I don't care if people say there's certain there's certain certain circumstances that make it hard to leave a relationship. Yeah, I get that. But them circumstances just didn't all happen overnight. There's a build-up to that kind of stuff. Nobody ever just wakes up the next day with the child out of wedlock. Not saying there's anything wrong with that. Waking up with the child with a man who is cheating. Was it cheating when y'all were before the baby? Or did he start cheating after the baby? I mean, these are the kind of things you have to ask. And some of y'all need a y'all need a y'all need a rude awakening to really figure out why you in the mess that you in right now. You deserve so much better than to be watching my YouTube video trying to get answers on how to make a man commit. It's not gonna happen. If he doesn't want to commit, he doesn't want to commit. He will not commit until he is ready to commit. And you shouldn't have to wait on him. You gonna find somebody else who's ready to commit because trust me, there are men out there who want commitment, who want relationships, who want marriages. There are men out there who want that. So go ahead and leave that buster alone and go wait for the man who's before you to find you. You deserve more. And you're hearing that from me. So, my battery's about to die, so I gotta wrap it up. If anybody has any questions or you really need to be more specific about certain situations or how to get a man to commit or a boy to commit, let me know, but there's nothing you can do. As simple as that, period. End of, end of the chapter, end of the story, there's nothing you can do. All you can do is require him to commit to you. And the way you do that is you need to set um, requirements. Set requirements for what you want. And, and don't settle for less. Thank you for watching another video. I hope y'all come back and watch some more. Thumbs up, subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.